Yo, on my way to Hartlepool, got me dog, Ted, got me latte, I've got a van with 180 quid for diesel in it, that's how much it costs to fill nowadays. Yeah, and I'm on my way to a Volvo, 80 tonner, running a bit shitty, and it's heating up the fuel system, reckons he can't put his hand on the fuel filter. So, possible injector maybe, I don't know. One of our lads had a quick look at it while they were on me another job yesterday, but time ran out and whatnot. So, going up myself today to have a look, see what we can find. I uh, thought I'd do like a little, it's really what we're getting up to it today. This is a standard day, this really. Spend a lot of time on the road as a plant fitter. Um, I don't like being called a fitter, but plant engineer. It gives you a lot of time to think, a lot of time to listen to some good music. Um, yeah, I spend a lot of time with my dog, Ted, which is great. And yeah, well, uh, just deciding whether I might brace his stock car this weekend at Kinsling, but I don't know yet, because we said we weren't going to do any uh, meetings apart from Bradford this year. Got some racing the following weekend, it's 25th and 26th in Comp Safari, so you can't do it all, and it, it costs too much brass, doesn't it? So, got to earn a bit of this, got to earn a bit of that. Uh, can't be all playing all the time, so we'll see what happens anyway. Um, I have to make that decision today, so that's got my power ballads on, drinking my latte, deciding if I can race this Saturday night at Kinsling Stadium or not. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll do a little video of fine with this Volvo. Ciao for now. On site and ready to cast some magical madness. Ugh. Them, them's on radio, bit of them. Nothing obvious, so we've got the old etcher sketch out. Yes. Well, I've been around it mechanic, you know, with my, with my hands, with my hands, all mechanically first. I always have a look before I get the computer out. Fuel filter is getting hot, but it's been crushed, so I think that's that problem. The, it's not an injector like I think uh, some people thought it was. Um, it's running far too sweet. Um, it's running really well, actually. Got plenty of power. We've got a few faults going on on the old etcher sketch, but nothing major. Um, I need to sort them out. We'll come back, get our customer some bits. EGR differential pressure sensor look, signal not pausable, so that'll be sensor. Um, yeah, so we'll, we'll, uh, it's looking like an easy day for us, but at least we know what to do for our customer. We know the parts, what we need. He's working for me in me, the meantime, you know. Ted's fed up. What's going on, Ted? On You're happy, you? Yeah, so all in a day's work, eh? This is the greatest and best dog in the world. Hi, Bogey. I'd uh, give you a verdict. We're on our way now, we've left sight. Uh, obviously, the, 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 the breakdown was uh, heating the fuel up, intermittently losing power. Um, the customer thought it were an injector, possibly. Um, it's not an injector, it's running sweet as a nut. It does lose power every now and then, and it is eating the fuel up. There's nothing getting back to diesel tank, there's no, there's no um, compression in the diesel tank when you take cap off. There's no exhaust fumes in there, which tends to be an injector when that happens. Um, however, the fuel filters aren't great, even though they're new, they've been crushed a bit, so I'm going to change fuel filters. And the heat, I believe, has been created at the high pressure fuel pump. Um, it's hot to touch, and all the, other, all the other plant engineers are going to know what I'm saying when I say it sounds geary. It sounds loud, it's geary. Uh, so I think that's creating the heat. It's definitely not an injector. So yeah, I'm going to get a set of filters in an high pressure pump. 
bang that on and hopefully that will solve them issues. Uh, while I was checking it, it's got an open circuit fault on a EGR differential pressure sensor, so I'll get that, I'll get that swapped out as well, get a new one of them in. And that'll keep them uh, snipping steel for Tata. Fantastic. So that's me and Ted done. We're going to get another latte, listen to some rock music, and go to the next job. Ta-ta!